Okay. All right, we've had a bunch of requests for dinosaur dig kits. I just wanted to show you here how we're making them as we're producing them for school kids across the state of Alabama and in the Black Belt. So what we need are some containers, some plastic dinosaurs that are right there down here, and some matrix. Well, the first thing I'll do is grab some matrix to mix up. Measure this out, we get our container here. Put two in, get our bonding agent. And we're gonna mix a little bit in here, time. Get it just right. I can see really well. This does take some work to figure out how to mix it properly as we go through, because it'll either be too hard or too wet, and that won't be good for our mixing in here, mix it up really well. Stop the mixing here, we need a little bit more plaster. Take a little bit more, put it in there. few minutes we want to make sure that we get our water mixture right, we get our plaster mixture right. Because if not, it won't set up properly. And it might come out wrong. We don't want to do that. Make sure our dinosaurs are fully encased and then looking not like the chalk here in the black belt. One, great benefit of the mixture we're using here is the fact that once we're done we're putting it in a container and it dries with the dinosaur inside it does look a lot like the geologic layers a layer I should say where dinosaurs are found here in our state you can kind of see a little bit here I'll put a little bit more in as as we know from poking around here and digging holes when we get down to the top, it's not light. Well, it's not soft. It's very, very hard. I'll tell you what, just to be sure. been a little bit since we have so I've made some dinosaurs we made a bunch the beginning part of this year to use the rest of the materials that we had from a grant from the RCD council and almost all of those are gone so now I'm here as we're at school starting up right now making some more so now that we got this mixed up we got our containers and I'm going to take Handful of this, put it in each one of these. And then put a dinosaur inside each one. And 
then we encase our dinosaurs. dry unless it's uh, not a cloudy day and I can set it outside and it'll dry much much faster. If we could we have I guess the ability to tactilely feel through the camera we'll let you feel this so the plaster mixing with water is actually an exothermic reaction, so it creates heat, and that's what bonds everything together. Now, just to be safe, I'm going to put a little bit more plaster in here. Get it nice and hard. You got to work to get your dinosaur out. Can't make it easy, right? Because paleontologists don't have it easy digging these out. up here. And we'll finish up. Looks like I need a little bit more. One more scoopful. Whoever gets that one, chalk is going to be a little extra hard on that corner. Take our water. Mix it up. You can see in here, give you a little bit of a peek what's happening inside the container. I didn't get enough water in there, see that? And then pour a little bit more in. Now you can see what happens if you get too much water in. It's an easy fix though. More sand. More plaster. That one turn equal. More dinosaurs. I encourage you all, especially you teachers, to check out our Facebook page, which will be linked below, where you can request these for your class. Um, go in there, you'll, you'll go to our website, and there'll be a Google form for you to fill out. And there's dinosaur dig kits, there's Choctaw pottery dig kits, uh, there's a couple living history programs where the person will either uh, Skype in, Skype, 
can we either zoom in or uh, YouTube in and we can have that person in your class live and they can answer questions from your students and talk about different parts of the natural and cultural history of the black belt. Uh, or depending on uh, regulations regarding your school and visitors, that person can actually come to your school and meet the students for the day and talk with them and answer their questions and show them that especially the entire state of Alabama, but maybe the Black Belt has an amazing history that for those who live here and travel through here, it's hard to see sometimes, but it truly is a great place to learn about the entire history of our nation. You have some of the most important historical events in the country happening here. You have dinosaurs here at one point in time. You have creatures from the Cretaceous Ocean that were featured in a certain movie franchise recently that lived here. You know, it's all, there's a lot of very exciting resources available to anyone who's willing to learn about the Black Belt. So head over to our website, link will be provided in the description below. And you can request programs, there's actually if you go into resources on there, there is lesson plans that either use the resources like the dinosaur dig kits or others to augment what you're already teaching in the class and all of our lesson plans that are there and there'll be more that are growing as we go throughout the semester and through the year that help. Um, if there's something specific you'd like to see on there would help your class, feel free to email our educator me, and I'll provide my contact information in the description below and we'll see what we can do to work with each other. Alright, here we go. Our first batch of dinosaur dig kits for the year. <laughs>